You're right guys, I've got an LED panel light on the ceiling in my bedroom and I thought it'd be great if I could give it the Philips Hue effect. Now it doesn't go to plan, but in the end I've ended up with something that's going to be really useful for my video production and photography too. I hope you like it. To make the light panel, I used two sheets of 3mm Perspex, a selection of M6 hardware, a Philips Hue strip light, a drill and drill bit, and a counter sink. I also used some scrap wood and tape to make the process easier. To start, I made sure both pieces of perspex were aligned. I used some painters tape to hold them together. Then it was just a case of drilling holes through both layers. The wood underneath helps to prevent tear out. I drilled a hole in each corner and a hole in the middle of the longer edge on both sides to give me six holes in total. Using a countersink on the holes allows the machine screws to sit flush with the surface. The strip light has an adhesive strip on the back so it's easy to attach to the perspex. I just needed to make sure the power socket was off to the one edge. This will give me easy access later. I thought that using mirrored perspex would increase the amount of light being directed forward. The opal perspex should help diffuse the light. Assembly is simple. I pushed through the machine screws so they were all sitting upright. Then, to form spaces, I added 15 washers to each machine screw. With the washers in place, it was just a case of adding the light panel. Wing nuts are used to hold it all together. Just a case of plugging in the power adapter and turning it on now. The Philips Hue app is great for controlling the light strip wirelessly. You can choose a variety of colours and brightness levels which is ideal for what I wanted. I went ahead and fitted the panel I made into my existing ceiling enclosure. I hit the power switch and... Nothing, just a brief flash. The LED driver I have matches the output of the Philips power adapter exactly, so I'm not really sure why it didn't work. I did contact Philips about it and they said only their power adapter is compatible with a light strip. I think there must be some communication between the power source and the lights themselves. Never mind. This panel will be great for use in my videos and also for photography. I really like the effects I managed to get when I was photographing this amazing light I was sent from making it out of the woods. There's a link to her channel and Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff down in the description. Check out her work, she's got amazing projects. Thanks for the very kind gift Claire, I love it. Now it didn't exactly go to plan, but I think you'll agree the results are actually quite interesting. This will be really useful for making videos and my photography. I do any larger projects, it's great to actually put this down on the floor, lean it up against something, get some light underneath the project rather than the overhead lights and casting shadows and stuff like that. But also I think you'd agree, photographing smaller projects actually looks great with this. I really like how the lights actually don't diffuse all that well. I wasn't that pleased when it turned out like this to be honest, but now that I see the photos I think it's great. And of course being able to choose all different colours, really easy and I can add some different effects and even animate it as well which is great. So hopefully you'll like this project, if you did please give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment, I answer all comments as always, leave them down below. And if you want to share this around with your friends as well, maybe they're into photography and video production and stuff, or maybe they like making ceiling lights that don't work, share it with them, hopefully they'll like it. Thank you all for watching again. <laughs>